Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jones 4 here, bringing you guys some Madden Ultimate Team. Hopefully, you guys like today's video because today we are buying the two tallest corners of the NFL, which is Brandon Browner from the New England Patriots, and from the Kansas City Chiefs, we got Sean Smith, six foot three. And Brandon Browner, I forgot to mention his height. His height is six foot four. Pretty much what we're gonna be considering to do on uh, season two is to prevent the deep passes. And if we remember the, the playoff game that we played on season one, um, that playoff game didn't end well, which is uh, pretty much brought me this idea of like protect the deeps at all costs, just make them th throw down the middle. And it brings me another concern also, which is the linebackers, which I'll be buying later on tomorrow or in two days. I need to raise like around uh, 15,000 coins. So anyways, um, here's Brandon Browner from the New England Patriots, pretty much of a not so fast guy, but we're going to be covering the deeps with this guy. He, has, he does have a lot of zoning, and his height is incredible at six foot four, man. I mean, who the hell can become a corner <laughs> at six foot four? Are you freaking kidding me? Richard Sherman is six foot three, but I can't get him because he's elite, and the only way you can get him is if you complete every single challenge out there, so... Yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so the other tallest guy besides Richard Sherman is Sean Smith, which is the one that you see right here. Six foot three, Kansas City Chief cornerback. And for those of you guys who have ever asked me, like, oh, who's the fourth one? Well, the fourth tallest guy, I think, is the guy from the from the Saints, I believe. I think I think it's Kenyon Lewis, six foot two. And several others, there's like at least five cornerbacks that are six foot two. But I decided to go with the tallest ones, which is 6'3 and 6'4. So now, guys, we're going to be able to see that a bunch of deep passes are going to be intercepted by these two guys, hopefully. And um, not a lot of deep passes are going to be happening since these two guys are tall as hell. You can't throw over them. You can't. These guys are like receivers up there. So it's going to be amazing to see them play, guys, especially, you know, with people who tend to th throw deep. So it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen for them. So, so yeah, guys. Um... This is going to look incredible. I believe it. You know, second season is going to be a hell of a season. I can already tell. And, um, yeah, pretty much this is my defense, guys. I just, need, I just need to replace my middle linebacker and Jabal shirt and maybe my strong safety, too. And I'm done. I'm pretty much set for the first five weeks, though. Because I know we're going to be able to see, like, a bunch of harder opponents along the way. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I can't wait. It's going to be a hell of a season. So let me just set up right here. And um, yeah, I think I should leave Jermaine Brock there because I know we're going to need him to tackle at some point. So yeah, that's pretty much my defense, guys. If you guys like my defense, the way it looks right now, please leave a like. And if you guys are concerned about something about my defense, please tell me in the comment section and I'll change it right away because I know I need some few changes here and there on my D-line, linebackers, and one of my safeties. So. Yeah, that's all for now, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up. And if you guys want to see more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, leave a like and subscribe for more.